Following Saturday, the Addicts made the long trek north for the away fixture against FA Cup finalists Sunderland. Charlton's management duo Steve Grit and Alan Kerbishley were hoping to beat the dreaded Manager of the Month curse, having won the prestigious Barclays Award the previous week. Someone can get ahead to it. Rush! No, couldn't quite make contact. Kay. John Kay again. Looks for Burn. And it's the corner. He gets around his man. Lays it through. That was a good ball. But uh, not the best of turns by Carl Lieber. Now Burn winning that ball well for Sunderland and finding Mooney. Mooney with a little chance to shine for Sunderland, but he's trying this afternoon. Good play and the shot by Burn. Good turn by Brian Mooney. Great turn, in fact. He's got Rush ahead of him. He tries the shot, and it's an excellent shot, too, by Brian Mooney. Forcing Boulder to palm the ball aside, then Brian Mooney, number seven, getting a rare chance for Sunderland this afternoon and making the most of it. An encouraging word there from Anton Rogan as he went past Brian Mooney. And that really was an excellent shot. Atkinson varying his corner as well, the back header, but nobody on that far post. It's another corner. Rogan on the near post. Hardiman's come across to take the corner on the Sunderland right. This is normal for Sunderland. Hardiman normally takes the right wing corners with Atkinson taking the left wing corners. Deep corner! And it's back with Hardiman. Has to make an angle. Mooney with the high up and under centre. Dick Bennett there first. Oh, and he blazes it wide. And so Bennett turns away dejectedly. Landsman in shot is Martin Robinson from Darlington. This time the corner, near post corner, headed across goal. Norman there. Near post corner, the flick on. Rush coming in late after Armstrong's header. Mooney. Turning the defender, that's good play, but his cross wasn't so good. Turns the defender again, whips another cross in, he's looked very dangerous, has Mooney, but that one just a shade too far. Pitcher. Lee. And overcomes the cross, over Norman's crossbar. by Rush, driven back in, and cleared by Sunderland, so, and that's a shot by Lee Burns, didn't get behind it, and uh, Norman saving without difficulty, now the free kick, 
can be taken. Which it is now. Bennett, it's there from Bennett. Lovely header from Gary Bennett from the Sunderland free kick. The free kick taken by Brian Atkinson and there was Gary Bennett having to lean slightly backwards to head that ball in but he got the direction, he got the power and Sunderland take the lead. 11 minutes into the second half. Sunderland 1, Charlton Athletic 0. There was a short corner option on but now John Burns come inside. Hardiman, look, good looking corner. Over the bar from Armstrong. Back in by Pitcher, back out by Bennett. Pitcher again. This time finds White. White, right, the early ball across to Lee Burn, but Lee. Armstrong. Hardiman with the clearance. Stopped there by Balmer. Pitcher in Nips Davenport. Hardiman. Burn. Faced by Webster. It's come to rush. Davenport whips the ball over. Burn. And didn't quite get the power behind the header. And Boulder able to get across and cut the ball off. by Rogan but then he gives it away forward come Charlton Athletic White the chance for the equaliser and it's taken by Robert Lee Robert Lee equalises for Charlton Athletic after Anton Rogan lost the ball he won it and then lost it and then Charlton Athletic with the counter attack equalise with 24 minutes of the second half gone. So Sunderland won, Charlton Athletic won, Robert Lee with the equaliser for Charlton Athletic. So Charlton's away record this season looks quite impressive. As Davenport comes forward into the path of Rush. Rush! Didn't quite get the right direction on the ball. Lovely pass through from Peter Davenport though. And Sunderland could well have regained the lead there. They didn't, it's still 1-1, but it wasn't for the lack of trying. Hardiman throws short. Back from Armstrong. Overcomes the cross, held by Bowler. Minto. Walsh. Minto. Up. Go the heads in the centre circle, in the penalty area. Hardiman hammers the ball away. Hardiman signalling to the throw and he's, he's right, the referee acknowledges that. So it is a throw, not the corner. Lee Byrne to take it. Walsh blocked by... was blocked by Rogan. But it's back with Charlton. Oh, and it's in the net again. Disaster for Sunderland. Charlton Athletic take the lead. Sunderland 1, Charlton Athletic 2. That goal coming with 15 minutes left for play. Can they get it? Hardiman. Good free kick. Very good free kick. Kept in. Burn. Has to go back and make space. Good. By good return ball from Brady to Burn. Burn to the far post, but disappointingly, the move ends with the ball going harmlessly past the Charlton Athletic goal. Or this time rather, the throw. Brady. Looks up. Chips the ball over. Doesn't get enough distance on it. Brady again. Again, sends the ball in, but again, not quite deep enough. Lee. Brady for the third time. 
this time lifts the ball more effectively and Bennett got a header in but no power behind it we are now one minute and a half into injury time and Steve got in causing a little bit of work there for Bob Bowley And there goes the final whistle. The final score, Sunderland 1, Charlton Athletic 2. This result left Charlton 6th in the 2nd Division table and looking increasingly like contenders for a place in the playoffs.